All right, so another day, another Supreme collab with Nike. This one I feel like is one that I like, but I don't think it's gonna be one that most people are gonna like because it features another kind of obscure pair of sneakers, something that Supreme is actually really good at doing, bringing back uh, obscure sneakers into the limelight of uh, their products. So this is a look right here at the shoes, and this is an interesting one. This is the Nike Shocks Ride 2 SP, and this is the white and gray and the uh, red colorway, obviously the red with Supreme. But in this video, I wanted to review this sneaker collaboration right here, give you guys my thoughts on it, and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. What's going on guys, Hess here. Hope you're having a good day out there. Thank you for stopping by and watching. If you guys are new to my channel, and you guys do like the content, feel free to subscribe. Uh, if you guys wanna buy a pair of these, I'll link them in the description to like eBay and stuff. Uh, you can just shop around there and see what you can find for the pricing. I think they're a little bit over uh, retail as of right now. Uh, this colorway I think is fire and somebody that has been like a long-term shock fan, I guess, or fan hater, I guess, both. Uh, I feel like uh, this is like the ideal color because the original pair, at least from the ones that I remember, the R4s, uh, the very first pair of shocks running shoes that I ever got was the white, silver, and red colorway. The R4 was the first model, then they had the turbos and a couple other ones. This is the Ride 2 and actually the Ride is not one that I'm familiar with. One thing that I noticed uh, from the beginning is they do have Nike Air in the forefoot of the shoe, which is an interesting uh, move right here. This is one of those technologies that Nike created years ago. It took a decade for them to actually create and actually bring to uh, the market. So it's Nike Shocks technology, S-H-O-X, and it has these really interesting uh, like spring columns in them. And honestly, this is one of the shoes that I featured on like one of the top five gimmicks or something like that for sneakers because this is one that definitely was a gimmick. It got a lot of people out there. You do feel some compression on the heel and stuff, but honestly, it doesn't propel you forward. And I think that in more modern day uh, running sneakers, you notice that the focus isn't so much on the spring part on the heel, but on the forefoot of the shoes. So you look at the Alpha Flies and stuff like that from Nike, they have giant Zoom airbags in the forefoot of the shoe and then you have a soft squishy landing on the back. The concept behind these back then was to absorb the shock of the landing and the impact and then um, push off of the forefoot. But really like most of the runners out there, they don't really do like a huge heel strike. They do more of a like off the toe sort of thing, I guess. I think that there's different style of runners out there, but for the most part, there's been a pretty massive shift in creating a shock absorption thing and a forward propulsion into running sneakers in the current 2022 market. But anyway, this is a, an older one that I thought was kind of an interesting model for Supreme to just decide to do a collaboration on. I'm one of those people that actually thinks it's kind of cool that Supreme brings like really interesting collaborations to the market. The Tailwind is one that I actually really liked when I was younger and actually I have the OG pairs and then they have the Supreme uh, Tailwinds. I actually still have the red pair uh, still and then they had the Air Max 96 with the clear uppers and like, you can think of probably a dozen different uh, Supreme collaborations where they brought back just some very interesting uh, pairs. If you guys actually want to see a top five video on like Nike collaborations with obscure uh, Nikes that they brought back, leave a comment and drop a like on this video and I'll uh, compile that list and do a video for you guys because there's a, a lot of really cool ones and part of the reason why I like the fact that Supreme does that is because uh, they're trying to be a little bit edgy, a little bit different and just not bring the same stuff to the market that they could do over and over again. Yes, we saw Supreme Dunks with the stars more recently, which happened to be probably their most popular collaboration that they've had in the last like five or six years or so from the sneaker front of things. Uh, they've had some Air Force Ones and stuff that they've done pretty well on as well. They've done foam posits, a, a lot of really popular models, or at least once popular models, I guess. Foam posits, not so much anymore, which, which I personally feel like the foam posit needs to have a nice comeback. I absolutely love the model, but, but again, obscurities. Like I actually like obscure models. And part of the reason why is because uh, it is a place in time where something was relevant, i.e. the shocks, and it was pretty cool for some people out there that really dug it and then it kind of faded away. Now they're bringing back something that once was popular to a mainstream audience of uh, a, like hype and stuff. And I think that that's kind of where I'm like, okay, this is kind of nice. It's kind of re bringing back some of the nostalgia and the history for some of us. And at the same time, introducing that uh, to a whole new audience that doesn't even know that that product might have existed back in the day. For that reason alone, I give kudos to Supreme for just bringing some of that stuff to the forefront. Uh, there's a lot of different models that I would think uh, Supreme would want to mess with that would be pretty awesome, honestly. And seeing more obscure collaborations nowadays 
uh, Cortez's with Union LA. I just did a video on those ones, but also the social status uh, Penny Hardaway ones. Like that's kind of a crazy one, not one that I would have expected to see in a collaboration front. So I feel like Supreme's kind of helped pave the way for people to find their own voices in these collaborations. And it's kind of nice to be able to see uh, people branch out and just do different things. Now, is it gonna be an overwhelming uh, resale success? No, like it's not gonna have the success of a Nike Dunker or like a Supreme Air Jordan or something like that if they did uh, something in that front. Like, can you imagine a Supreme Air Jordan 1? Like the hype would be insane. This will never get the love of that, but I think that that is a reason why um, I like the fact that they do stuff like this. It's not for the masses, it's for uh, a subculture of people that wanna try something new and obscure and like Supreme or somebody that likes Supreme and likes the original product that was released uh, way back when. So that's just kind of my two cents on the product. The overall details of this shoe, there's not really too much to go over with the shoe. I mean, it's a mesh upper. It has some like plastic TPU detailing on the side of the shoe for some nice little shape and dimension, a Nike swoosh that's kind of held together in the middle uh, from all of the TPU. And then you have some leather panels up through the shoe on the sides and then up through the laces as well. You also have some leather panels in the back with a little bit of mesh and then the Nike Shock logo on the back. But I also like the pull tab here, how it has the Shock logo in the rubberized detailing with the Supreme logo down uh, the front of the tongue. A little embroidered swoosh in red on the front of the shoe as well. And then I do like that they have a bunch of radial dots on the bottom of the shoe done in red. So there's a handful of red accents, but primarily it's a white upper with gray accents and then a little bit of red. Uh, and I like this colorway the best. There's four different ones that dropped. This one by far is my favorite. Uh, the Supreme and the Shocks branding on the insole of the shoe. Uh, very nice there, very simple and subtle. And one of those releases that I was kind of like, this is kind of interesting. And then I was like, not really paying attention. They drop. And so I'm happy that I got a pair. It's not one that I was going to pay resale for if I missed out on it. But uh, now that I have them in hand and stuff, I'm happy that I got a pair. I think they look great on feet. You wouldn't even notice that it's really a Supreme collaboration for the most part, except for obviously it says Supreme on the coils of the shoe. Uh, the big visible uh, Q giveaway. It would have been cool to see a Supreme logo on the heel of the shoe as well, but uh, they didn't go kind of too crazy. It's just like six Supreme logos on the shoe, four around the columns, one down the front, and then one on the insole. But leave a comment in the comment section. What do you guys feel about the Shocks uh, Ride 2 Supreme collaboration? I think it's cool. I think it's welcome. I would love to see some other ones. And if you have some other like obscure Nike sneakers that you guys would love to see uh, Nike and Supreme do a collab on, leave a comment, let me know. An Air Trainer. Uh, have they done trainers? Not the Air Trainer ones, but like the uh, the ones like the Auburn colorway or the Bo, Bo Jackson. I don't remember which one. The SE trainers. That would be uh, one that I would love to see. I absolutely love that colorway of the, the bows at least. But lots of fun different things that they could do. Uh, and really Nike has like a plethora of like different obscure models because they've released so many different things through the years. And I like that they've always tried to release stuff and some of it fails and some of it succeeds. And then some of it is now multi-generational because they're able to bring it back uh, with uh, the hypeness of Supreme. But that's the end of the video. If you guys again want to buy a pair, check the link in the description. Appreciate y'all for stopping by and watching. If you guys do enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button and uh, follow me along and check out when my, uh, my videos go live if you hit that bell. But uh, hopefully we'll see you guys back on the channel for some more videos. All right, peace guys.